I got a few wasps flying around me. It's kind of a weird angle today, this video, but we're going to be putting some LED lights in the little recessed compartment behind me. Uh, here's a look at what we're going to install. They are strip lights. They're blue or white. They come with a wire and a little plastic uh, mounting uh, harness. It's a no limits LED flexible strip lighting and I picked this up. I think it was around 15 bucks at uh, my local sporting goods store and today we're gonna install them. It looks like it's self-adhesive and two self-tapping screws. Um, we have some lights in here previously that were automotive. Uh, they didn't work out too well. I don't know if you can see the rust from the wet because they weren't really waterproof. Hopefully these will work a little better. So uh, let's uh, get started on that. I'm just going to give you a little closer look here at the product. I don't know if you can see the LEDs. All right, so there are some blue ones. Presumably the yellow colored ones are the blue ones. I could be wrong on that. And then three wires coming out for whether you want to wire the blue ones or the white ones. I'm going to attempt to wire them both so that the blue and the white come on for a maximum amount of light in the cockpit, even though it should still have a blue tint to it. And it's about three feet long. Here we see the mounting hardware, not much to it really. A couple of plastic end caps and screws. All right. What we're going to do first is clean underneath there and get it ready, kind of prepped for uh, the new lights. Alright, first thing I'm going to do here is clip off these old lights. There's plenty of wire, so I'm going to go ahead and leave myself a lot of room so that I can reuse these. They actually still work for some other purpose. to bring it all the way up. Okay, should have did that first. And splice these to get them ready. Now what you can't see is that underneath here there's adhesive left over from previous strip lights that I had and I may have to get some acetone or something to get that adhesive off. That's about as low as I can get to show you the adhesive that's under there. Lacking any uh, Acetone. I actually do have a can, I just don't feel like getting it, so I bugged the wife for some fingernail polish remover. I'll give it a quick clean up. Truthfully, if it doesn't work that good, I'm not gonna be that worried about it.
Well, it doesn't appear to be coming off, so just gonna let that dry a little bit. There's an adhesive on the bottom of the strip, but I doubt very seriously I'm gonna be able to push this in, pulling that adhesive off, because it's very tight already. So I'm inserting, or at least trying to insert, the LED into the track. It's pretty stiff. We got a walk coming around. Let's try this again. All right, so apparently none of that was filming, what I just did. So what you missed was me pulling the LED and I was just sliding it up into the groove. The end cap was not in there yet. So I pulled the LED up into the track and then making sure this is the right way around, I inserted the end cap. And that's where the set screw is gonna go. And I moved the LED all the way to the end. You can see on the back there's some peel off tape for 3M adhesive. I'm going to use that to stick the item underneath there and then later go and put the set screws in on both sides. Right now I'm going to separate these wires. It says so in the instructions. So that the end cap will fit. Try to insert the other end cap. It looks like white on this side, these two on this side. Alright, so now the other end cap. So this setup is ready. I'm just going to wire it and then I'm going to mount it. I was a little confused about how the wiring was. Uh, logically, I would have hooked up the ground wire and then used two different positive wires to uh, initiate either the white or the blue light. But what do I know? So apparently it's the ground wires, two ground wires and one positive. So I've hooked up the positive and one of the ground wires, okay, for the blue. Let me turn that a little bit. It's, <laughs> they're quite bright. I'm impressed. But now, when I hook up the second ground, the white lights come on too. That should be twice as bright. I'm going to go ahead and wire them to light both since I want to maximize the amount of light that I get. Although that would be pretty nifty to have two switches and you being able to switch between two, two different color lights. All right, so a lot of people would tell you this is how not to do wiring on a boat using wire nuts. But uh, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you know that I use wire nuts. And then I come back behind it with liquid electrical tape and completely fill the wire nut up, providing an airtight and watertight seal. I think uh, it's a little bit better than using crimp connectors for sure. And also uh, I've had better luck than using the heat shrink. The heat shrink still lets some of the moisture through and uh, that is of course what we want to avoid. Now you're not going to see me use the liquid electrical tape today, it's a real nifty product. It dries very hard because I'm out of it. But I will go back and dab it onto these connectors as soon as I can get to the store and get me some. So, all that's left is to mount it in the position and we will be good to go. Alright, I did decide to electrical tape this a little bit. Just the cord that's going to be exposed. The rest of this is going to go...
disappear in the gunnel, hopefully. I could have removed this whole compartment, it would have made it a little bit easier, but time is money. Alright, next we'll position it, glue it, and then put our set screws in and move to the other side. I'm gonna come to the outside just so that I get more light bleed out. It'll also make it easier to put the set screws in. All right, I'm gonna remove or I'm gonna attempt to remove. Whew, got the sun in my eyes. All right. 3M backing is off and it is sticky so we're going to try to judge this. We couldn't measure it and make marks but I'm not that into it. This feels like it's about the middle and stick. <coughs> an electric screwdriver probably just zip, zip those set screws in let's try to switch everything still looking good all right time for the set screws I'm gonna do this the old-fashioned way Okay, now if this was truly fiberglass, this insert probably couldn't do this. But it's some type of plastic insert and then the gunnel was fiberglass. If it were fiberglass, then you probably want to mount, I'm sorry, drill a pre-drill hole, pre-drill it. He changed his mind. But he'll be back. In case he didn't see it was a wash. Little set screws in place. Try it out one more time. Alright, now we move to the other side. Alright, because this side, my wires back through decided I'm gonna do this in a little bit of a reverse order stick these wires through and hopefully I'll be able to retrieve them and do the wiring in the back through the gunnel so let's see. All right, if we got that right, they should light up right now. They do. All right. 
pull this back out. I'm gonna rewrap the edge of that with a little electrical tape like I did the other side. And then I will glue it and put in the set screws. All right, just like the other side. I'm gonna remove. Came off a little easier. I'm gonna put it closer to the edge and kind of use my fingers to judge the middle. Set screw time. And that's a wrap. LED strip lights. Now I've had these in the past and I can guarantee you this, believe it or not, is going to light up the floor of this cockpit area at night. Not so much that it will blind you, but enough so that you can fish and tackle and do whatever um, without having the main spread of lights on. Alright. Now, I'm not going to leave you with just that. You know I'm going to bring you back out here later on tonight and we'll check out and see how it looks in the cockpit at night. Alright, it's dusk now. It's not quite dark dark. Um, got about a quarter of a moon. Um, street lights are on but I can still see uh, pretty well and there's the automatic light on behind me too. But uh, I'm fixing to call it a night so I'm going to go ahead and give you the night uh, version of the lights and I'll go ahead and kick those on and you'll see I've already tried them it's pretty sweet there we go uh, the camera's adjusting but it lights up the entire cockpit area uh, I wish it was a little bit more blue as opposed to the white but remember I did hook both contacts up because I wanted to get uh, as much light as possible so even though the blue ones are lit, it's a little more white than blue, but uh, I'm still uh, impressed with it and very happy with it. And uh, that's how easy it was to install those. Now, I got those at a area sporting goods store. Uh, I think they're around 15 bucks a strip, so it's like 30 bucks investment. But it really was a good kit because it came with everything that uh, was needed. Um, so I recommend that if you want to put some. Uh, lights uh, around on your boat. Alright, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Uh, I try to answer as much as I can. Uh, also, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. That goes a long way to help me out. And don't forget about our sponsors, either on the video or up to the side on the page. Without the sponsors, videos like this wouldn't be possible. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.